Baby Expo is just around the corner. Who's excited? <laughs> so Baby Expo is going to start on the 30th of January 2021. Hi guys, I thought I'd come on here to make a correction. So since I filmed this video, the Baby Expo schedule has actually changed and that's probably related to the COVID clusters that have occurred all over our country. So in order to make sure that you have the most updated information about PBC Expo, I suggest that you head over to pbc.com.au. When my daughter was really young and I had a whole ton of baby essentials to buy for her, I love to go to Baby Expo to find really good discounts. You can get all sorts of stuff there. There's prams, baby furniture, breastfeeding stuff and maternity stuff, you name it, they've got the works there. And by the way, this video is not sponsored. Today, I'll be sharing some tips with you as to how you can get the best deals and have a really productive day at Baby Expo. And as per usual, all details in this video are linked in the description box below. Go ahead and check it out after you finish watching this video. Tip number one, gain free entry. Now I understand that the entrance price retails for $20. However, if you head over to the website ahead of time, click on the state that you live in and there will be a link there for you to click on to gain free access to Baby Expo. They will ask for your email, so you have to give it to them in order for you to gain free access. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Tip number two, go on your own. <laughs> if you want to get the best deals in the shortest amount of time, don't lug around your family. <laughs> the thing is, if you have to, say because you are breastfeeding, yes, by all means do that. The Expo is actually set up really well with breastfeeding amenities. But if you're going to be doing that, send your husband or a family or a friend to go and do the shopping for you while you breastfeed. The expo can get really, really crowded and in my opinion, it's not really a place to browse. You kind of just want to go in, buy what you need and get out quick smart. If you like these tips so far, do click on that thumbs up button and that will really help my channel grow. And if you're interested in more tips on practical parenting, do subscribe. Feel free to also follow me on Instagram where I post daily. Tip number three is to make a list of things that you want to buy. As I've just said, I don't think the expo is really for a place for browsing. However, if you really want to browse, it's not that you cannot. However, I would strongly suggest that you prioritize the things that you really want to buy, go and buy them, and then go and browse after that. Bear in mind, the Baby Expo has this really handy facility as well called the Free Parcel Minding Service. And you can drop your bulky items off there and browse for your life. My two favorite things that I got at Baby Expo are these Atipa's sock shoes and my Angel Care Nappy Bin Refill. These are sock shoes and I wash them after every wear they retail for quite a lot, so at least $35 per pair. And they can get quite expensive if you buy a lot. I own between seven to nine pairs in each size because I wash them each time my daughter wore them. I remember getting between $10 to $15 off the retail price per pair. So if you buy lots and lots of pairs, that is a huge saving. These Angel Care Nappy Bin refills, I remember that they retail for $60 and I got them for $45 for a pack like this. I bought these two years ago and I bought so many that I still have some now. They don't expire, so whatever. <sighs> Tip number four is to bring along a rolling luggage. I know it sounds really ridiculous, um, but even if you're not planning to buy a lot, I would suggest that you bring one along because you'd be surprised what deals you can get there. And it will come in really handy if you do end up buying a lot. Tip number five is to print out a map of the Expo Center. This will give you an indication of where the different stores are at the center. Now at the time that I was scripting for this video, I did check the website and a map is not yet available. I assume that one will go up closer to the date because it's always been there in the previous years. What's great about the map is you can plan your route around the Expo Center. And once you get there, head to the stores that you're interested in. And that way you could be an early bird there. You could have beaten the crowd. Um, you get most selection and you're going to get more attention from the seller. And remember, you can always haggle. Tip number six 
If you have not made a list of things to buy and you just intend to browse, start at the shop that is furthest from the entry. The issue is everyone just trickles in from the front entrance or the main entrance and they just stop at the shops that are directly in front. So it gets really crowded and there's no reason for elbow to elbow shopping. So start far away from the entrance and work backwards. Tip number seven. Now this is more a question and the question is which day should you go on? Should you go on the first day or the second day of Baby Expo? Now on the first day, you tend to have more stock and more selection. So if you're interested in getting something extremely specific like a pram or a certain crib, I would suggest that you go on the first day. The advantage of going on the second day though is that the items are often further discounted and there's more room to haggle. My next video is a big one and it is on toilet training. To make sure you don't miss that video, do subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be informed when the video is published. In the meantime, feel free to enjoy these videos over here. If you like this video, please click on that thumbs up button because it would make a huge difference to my channel. Leave me a comment as well because I would love to read it. Otherwise, stay safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.